The animals have adapted to fire. They've all been around it. Even though they may, that specific animal may not have seen fire, it appears to be in their genetics. So they deal with it rather well. Some of the large animals, deer, elk, bears, they just get out of the way. They can get, they can run fast enough, they move out of the way of that kind of situation. And smaller, the babies of those, they're moving fast enough now they can go right along with them. Some of the smaller animals, rabbits, uh, burrowing type animals, squirrels, they can actually get underground and withstand pretty severe fire effects. So they can, they can survive a fire as well. Um, some of, same with reptiles and amphibians. Of course, amphibians are usually near water, so they can kind of get underneath that and survive. And reptiles can also get under the ground. The Ducket Fire that occurred in 2011 was right here in this same country as the Hayden Fire. We were seeing uh, lizards just the next day after the fire. You'd see some things moving around, and they were fine. So. Fires do kill a very small percentage of wildlife and things like that, but most things can get out of the way and they've adapted to fire and a lot of things are dependent on fire. So most animals are going to benefit in the long run from this type of fire. The elk probably benefit more than anything in this type of country instantly. The elk are in the black right now as we're starting to see this fire wind down. They move in there whether they're looking for mineral or what they're exactly looking for I do not know but within three weeks we'll start having some major new growth occur the grasses and shrubs will come up those are highly highly nutritious so the elk and deer foragers and browsers will be utilizing the burn this year